Hi everyone, this is Veronica. Today we are going to discuss a very uh, important, important and sensitive topic that is how to manage the menstrual waste. Now see what is menstruation. As you know, the women in the reproductive age, they go through certain changes and they receive periods every month that is menstruation. And now we are talking about this waste, the menstrual waste, the sanitary napkins they use during this time, how to dispose them. That is a mammoth task that is a very difficult task that we need to discuss why what are the problems and challenges in front of us the for my video updates you can follow me on instagram and facebook this is a channel study iq if you're preparing for any government exam our pen drive and tablet courses are also available for additional information you can call us on our numbers or you can visit our website too the pdf will be available on our website as i'm telling you that this is a mammoth task of managing menstrual waste because there is no single model of this waste that how it should be uh, decomposed or uh, how it should be disposed now india has close to 12.3 billion disposable sanitary napkins every year that we have to take care of and the main problem the biggest problem is that they are not even biodegradable nor uh, compostable okay compostable you know we uh, convert biodegradable or organic matter into compost and this compost is very useful for soil it acts as a soil conditioner but we are not able to convert this uh, waste into this kind of energy that is wte waste to energy right now let's see why i am saying let's see this particular data there are around 336 million menstruating women in india and over the fa past fa few years working this M there is a organization mhai authority basically menstrual hygiene alliance of india uh, they are in talks with wide range of stakeholders and they have approximated that there are 336 million menstruating women in India of which 36% they use disposable sanitary napkins that means total 121 million women use uh, this particular sanitary napkins. So the number of sanitary napkins used per menstrual cycle at a conservative let's say 8 uh, plus for that year implies that India has 12.3 billion disposable sanitary napkins to take care of every year majority of which are not biodegradable not even compostable but within uh, our two cities in our country these two cities are Bangalore and Pune they implement solid waste intervention to effectively segregate and identify menstrual waste during routine garbage collection the solid waste management rules 2016 underscores the challenge now see uh, i am saying segregating the garbage or the waste at in source so this is very important point like when it is collected from the households or it is collected from the bins which are located at different places it should be segregated from there like which is the vegetative waste organic waste which is the plastic waste glass waste and then comes your menstruating waste but actually we don't have any such model in front of us so sanitary waste disposal it has become an increasing problem in india as the plastic used in disposable sanitary napkins are not biodegradable and it leads to health and environmental hazards the impact is more pronounced because of the unorganized ways of municipal solid waste management and poor community collection also and disposable and transportation networks in the cities and villages now let's see these rules solid waste management rules that i'm talking about see these rules replaces the earlier rules of municipal solid waste 2000 right and now they are applicable beyond municipal areas and have included urban agglomeration census towns and notified industrial townships also they focus on segregation this is important of waste at source responsibility on the manufacturer to dispose of sanitary and packaging waste and uh, it, uh, user fees for collection disposal and processing from the bulk generator third is it has also been advised that biodegradable waste should be processed and treated properly uh, before composting or biomethanation within the premises now these rules actually promote the use of compost because conversion of waste into energy revision of parameters for landfills location and capacity this is what is promoted by these 
rules now the rules for the safety of treatment of legacy waste prescribed bioremediation and bio mining in all open dump sites and existing operational dump sites in india it should be promoted so these rules are for these things now there is article 51 a g of the constitution of india which makes it a fundamental duty of every citizens of india to protect and improve the natural environment including whether there are forests there are lakes there are rivers wildlife or whatever we have to uh, as a citizen of india the, it's our duty to protect these now let's move further you might have seen in the last 3 uh, or 4 years there's a campaign in our country clean india so the commitment to clean india is evident in letter and spirit with a host of campaigns and awards we have seen which are launched by government of india for the nation the political will to clean india is driving the message home at every level from country's leadership right down to resident welfare association but one topic that continues to remain under wraps due to persistent social and cultural taboos so why i'm saying social and cultural taboos because in our country menstruation is something seen like that because people are not open to talk about it they feel to hide it women are not comfortable to have a conversation about it right so how can we talk about waste management when people are not comfortable so this is a topic that remains under wraps uh, but we have seen the ministries of women and child development and human resources that they are talking about uh, they have created an enabling environment for girls also and women to access these essential healthcare products but at a uh, when we come at safe disposal of these sanitary napkins we need to move more cohesively together and quickly only awareness about using sanitary napkins we cannot wrap up our work but we need to give awareness about the safe disposal also now see ideally waste management solution should be according to the type of product that we are using the challenge now lies with the disposable sanitary napkins also because the vast majority of are made up of non compostable plastic liners and non woven cover and saps saps is super absorbent polymers right so the non compostable has two varieties of sanitary napkins with sap and those without sap so ultimately they are non compostable so now let's talk about how this menstrual waste could be classified see uh, with this solid waste management rules they consider menstrual waste as solid waste and it is defined as sanitary waste within the same so the rule goes to elucidate responsibilities of the waste generator local authorities and gram panchayats and producers of sanitary products now over the past uh, few years mhi as i told you it has been pulling together a wide group of people including government semi government authorities implementing agencies that yes now we should get aware with the waste disposal of sanitary napkins otherwise it will be a new crisis for a country so from creating awareness and pushing the agenda to talk about the issue and collating material from wide range of stakeholders this mhi they have brought to center stage an issue that has been long buried away now here you have to give a uh, interest at one particular thing that mhi has noticed that according to mhi there are three main concerns are central to management of this largely non compostable menstrual waste of india so first concern is paucity of appropriate disposal and treatment options leading to unsafe management of waste there is lot of uh, options available so people just throw it uh, here and there and there is lot of unsafe management secondly many girls and women lack access to those waste management options also that exist that are viable due to their limited ability to negotiate for solutions because for a continued culture of silence associated with menstruation and third they say there is lack of access to disposable options which may lead girls and women using otherwise hygienic products in an unhygienic manner so these things need to be taken care of because no viable models for this have been formulated or implemented till now now let's come 
to the impact on environment this is very important because given this there are two decentralized method of management of menstrual waste one is your small scale incineration process which has gained popularity in last few years and various government programs also condone them however models are available in market today that do not have appropriate emission so emission here is very important as you know in incineration we burn the material and the emissions which rose above in the environment they are very unhealthy they cause air pollution and even they are sometimes they are so toxic that some of them are even carcinogenic in nature that means they cause cancer so issue of inappropriate uh, placement ventilation and operation of units have been sent have been seen to be rampant so if used small scale incinerators can be used as a practical solution if certain measures to ensure safety of users and staff operating these units are ensured now another method is composting right so let's see what are the problems with composting so composting is totally ideal for compostable pads however some efforts have shown that absorbent core of even non compostable pads can decompose leaving behind plastic materials so that is how it is causing pollution and impacting the environment and effective composting requires community mobilization and mechanisms that we should separate the uh, these material at source so here in these two processes you can see how it is impacting the environment also and ultimately the health of the citizens will be in danger and if we talk about current disposable mechanisms so see in the waste to energy technology incinerators the waste generates energy electricity so big big plants are used combustion happens in very controlled environments there they the temperature is regulated pressure is regulated they control the emissions also that emissions are at very low temperatures and very low em emissions they are not carcinogenic and we are moving towards innovations in waste to energy incinerators also but here the disadvantage is that that very few waste to energy plants exist in our country and those that do operate at large scale are at selected locations moreover they are very expensive there are few num the main challenges they are few in and next they are very expensive in uh, and expensive waste to energy innovations applicable to community and institutional settings are still under development uh, we are still developing more of such uh, plants in our country so these are the current disposable mechanisms and we don't have proper transportation also that we can take the waste to these plants that will be too expensive now how could we conclude this topic see menstruation is a normal bodily function that has been so effectively hidden and shame ridden uh, that the conversation continues to place women at center of keeping this normal part of waste stream hidden and primarily for men now despite forward looking environmental legislation the so slow progress in implementing this could potentially mean that india's already scarce natural resources could be further polluted so the only way to get menstrual waste disposed safely and efficiently it requires collective attention to this massive environmental health issue the different ministry so just see what is the way forward it is an interministerial task force see the ministry of drinking water and sanitation along with the ministry of environment and forest and climate change ministry of housing and urban affairs efforts should be directed to offer safe appropriate waste management solution right then use of incinerators should be specific good quality models should be used categorization like we should segregate the waste waste at source standards should be uh, modeled for waste management the companies which are making these uh, sanitary napkins they should make the compostable products regulation support people to do right thing with all their waste people should be aware campaigns should be there and systems are set up to facilitate proper waste handling such system and models should be implemented strictly now this is the time finally so this is an important topic for discussion if you have any queries you can contact me you can contact me anywhere anywhere on the social media thank you